Mining Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies is an incredible way to earn passive income. The only caveat though, well, that's gonna be your electricity bill. So today we're gonna to be looking at solar power. How many solar panels you need to power a Bitcoin miner? On average, what does that cost? We're gonna look at basically plug and play systems that will enable you to mine Bitcoin with solar power. And we're also going to look at a couple other mining rigs that you could use instead of a Bitcoin miner that may be more risky, but also more lucrative. My name is Vosk. You're on the Voskcoin YouTube channel. I'm currently building out my own mining farm and the end game is to power it entirely with solar panels. So I wanted to share some of my research with you today. We're going to be pulling a lot of data from this climate biz article because as I was crunching these numbers and then I came across this, we were pretty much doing the same thing. So it was actually a lot of fun to double check and compare these numbers and also to bring a few things that are out of date up to date since this article has been published. So we're going to be taking the standard of the Bitmain Miner S19 and we're going to draw that static power usage of about 3000 watts. 3000 watts times 24 hours a day is 7200 watt hours or 72 kilowatt hours. So keep in mind, as we look at these different mining rigs, right? You see these little inputs, those are for your power cables. You plug power in and then you plug ethernet and you have electricity and internet and then you can mine crypto. It's very easy. You can mine directly to an exchange. It's not recommended, especially with a lot of drama and centralized exchanges in cryptocurrency sector in the past year. But again, you don't even need to learn how to use a wallet and all that. You just click the receive button on Coinbase, for example. Again, not my preference, but it certainly works. And that's how easy it is. You can just add a miner to whatever your solar setup is and start earning passive income. And, and not to get turn this into a pitch, right? If you already have an existing solar setup and you're ending up with a surplus month over month over month and you're not getting you know paid out for it, it's just banking with your uh, electricity provider, like your grid tied, which is the best way to do this, by the way. You want to be grid tied, then you don't have batteries and things like that. It gets your maintenance down, your initial cost down, and the only thing, problem is you're tied to the grid. So the grid goes down, you're out of power unless you implement some sort of battery backup. But you're not going to set up a battery backup for your mining farm and your mining rigs. You would just do that for your home, your necessities, right? But my point here especially is that you need power and electricity. Watch our video guides on how to set up an ASIC miner and how to set up the basics for electricity to mine efficiently and safely in your home. So with all that said, moving forward, we're gonna crunch these numbers. Don't let it complicate you, it's pretty simple. Miners consume watts, that's the formula to get your kilowatt hour. A fun fact, which the standard Bitcoin miner of this era, the Antminer S19, consumes about 72 kilowatt hours per day, which is about double the average US home daily electricity consumption. It's no wonder some people can try to get up in arms about electricity consumption when it comes to miners. But keep in mind that Bitcoin is a monetary revolution. So yes, a lot of le electricity goes into the proof of work, blockchain consensus mechanism, this thing that powers Bitcoin and makes it what it is and secure and powerful and decentralized and distributes the coins in a very cool, you know, economically unique standard. Instead of it having a military, which is what backs the US dollar, and really all that backs the US dollar because it's not the gold standard, you got Bitcoin miners for Bitcoin. Ironically, it's a much more friendly approach. Maybe I should say peaceful. Looking at the average electricity price in the United States per electric power monthly via EIA, in 2022, the average rate increased dramatically from just 2021, where prices had gone up significantly then as well up to an average of 16 cents per kilowatt hour throughout the United States, up an entire two cents from a residential point of view. Something to understand and keep in mind. An important note as we run all these numbers and calculations, Bitcoin is down in price compared to its all time high. So while there are many mining rigs that can earn 39, 31, 17, 10, seven bucks a day in passive income, they're mining altcoins, coins that are not as big, not as secure, not as guaranteed, if you will, as Bitcoin is. At 10 cents per kilowatt hour electricity rate, 
There's actually only a couple Bitcoin miners in the green at the time of recording this video. We're running these numbers on the S19, which at 10 cents per kilowatt hour loses something like a dollar a day. But personally, I believe Bitcoin will go up in price in the future and all of this stuff will work out well. So let's say we pay our panel off and pay our miner off and then it's just, it's all green. Or in this case, it's all yellow. So no costs. This is how much money in Bitcoin these miners are making per day. Nine bucks, seven bucks, seven bucks, six bucks. Like these things make a lot of money, but the problem is they consume a lot of juice. So again, when you compare that to just 10 cents per kilowatt hour, instead of making nine, seven, six bucks a day, making like a dollar or two or losing a dollar or two. So just understand that and keep that in mind. I'll drop some links out to grab miners down in the video description below. Bitcoin mining is really cool, but to be honest, it's loud. The devices are expensive and there are some pretty interesting alternatives. Like I'm earning $60 a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner. It's small, barely any heat or noise and it's profitable. Check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code BOSSCOIN. But let's get back to the topic at hand. So these Bitcoin miners used to cost five, 10, 12 grand. Now they're costing about two grand. Much more economical to get into, but they are not as profitable as they were before and electricity rates continue to rise throughout the world. This is a basic formula to figure out how many solar panels you need for a Bitcoin mining rig. You take the monthly electric usage divided by monthly peak sun hours times 1000, and then you need the power rating of your solar panel. Cal Browning's already crunched the numbers for us. Thanks, my man. So here's the deal. Here's how it all breaks down. 72 kilowatt hours, which is one miner running 24 hours a day times 30 brings you to 2160 kilowatt hours per month. Then we divide that by 156, bringing us to 1384. 1384 times 1000 is 13,864 watts. Then if we take a standard of 400 watt solar panels and divide that, we would need 34 and a half solar panels or really 35 solar panels. In other words, you will need a 14 kilowatt hour solar system to mine Bitcoin with solar power. Keep in mind that how much energy you earn from the sun varies with where you are located on this earth. Comparing this to London, England, which is a terrible spot to install solar, it would just basically never be feasible. You would need roughly twice as many solar panels to do the same thing, which just becomes cost prohibitive. Now we take the average cost for solar panels in the US per this article. If we need 15 kilowatts of solar panels, that's gonna cost us 42 grand. However, we get big tax breaks for doing this, bringing us down effectively to 31 grand. So. 31 grand to power one Bitcoin miner 24 seven is a pretty costly endeavor. To put this into perspective at 10 cents per kilowatt hour, you could pay your electric company 10 years at current rates to operate this miner instead of setting up the solar panels, 10 years. When you deal with solar energy, you're talking years, not months, not weeks, definitely not days as far as return on investment break even, things like that. But nothing is cooler than generating your own electricity. And when you throw the electric waste argument out the window when it comes to crypto and especially mining, well, then it's truly a beautiful and powerful, in my opinion, indisputable thing. Let's say you want just more than one mining rig though. You want a small farm, like 10 units. Well, CB's already crunched those numbers for us. They're estimating that your rough solar system cost would be $258,000, a quarter million dollars. Then their rig estimate is off since mining rigs have come down significantly in price recently. It would only cost you about $10,000, 10% of what it lists here to get those mining rigs today. You would need a 150 kilowatt system to run 10 mining rigs. And when he ran these numbers, you would make six grand a month and you would have a return on your investment and really break even in five years. Your break even period would actually be projected to be about 10 years right now. That's a long time, but keep in mind Bitcoin's low 
all you need to do is hodl some coin, things go decently, and that number will dramatically decrease. But there's also the Bitcoin halving on the horizon, which reduces the amount of Bitcoin you mine per day by half. However, all new Bitcoin all-time highs have been preceded by a new Bitcoin halving. And keep in mind, we've just focused on Bitcoin mining in this video. You could take a higher risk and mine these other coins that would have a much quicker path to break even if things work out. But altcoin mining, I mean, we could talk about it for hours, but these miners are newer, sometimes less proven companies make them. They're also being rapidly developed and advanced. Sometimes a miner that's much more efficient and powerful comes out and makes other miners obsolete. Bitcoin mining is very researched, it's very industrialized, it's very old at this point, it's been ASIC mined. With these application specific integrated circuit miners, everything we've talked about today has been a purpose built custom computer just for Bitcoin mining. And Bitcoin mining in particular, the SHA-256 mining algorithm has been developed in ASIC mined for a decade now. That's a long time. And to rattle off a couple more quick numbers for you, if you wanted to run 25 units, you need over half a million dollars in your solar setup, and you would need to invest well over $1 million to deploy 50 units 24-7, 365 to mine Bitcoin. Keep in mind, if you did do that, you'd be projected even at today's low coin and mining return rates to be earning over six figures per year. But you also spent seven figures to do it. But they say passive income is king. If this interests you, please make sure to head over to Voscoin Talk, our forum, and our Voscoin Discord server. We have a lot of threads on solar mining, solar panels, solar farms, whatever, very good data, people who are actively doing this, I'm working towards actively doing this at a small scale and then a bigger scale. Uh, above all, you know, it's it's fun, I'm an enthusiast, I love this stuff, I believe in this stuff, I'm about it, I'm gonna be here doing this no matter what way this goes. I'm not here to push this on you, I'm really running these numbers for myself, uh, but this is great data and I wanted to compile it into a video to share with you all. My biggest inspiring factor when it came to all of this was the incredible Peter Crazy Dane, who we toured his DIY solar powered uh, Bitcoin crypto mining farm a few years ago. So incredible, so cool. I actually, I should really follow up with him and see if he wants to do a, a actually it's a 3.0. That was the second time we toured. That was a much better video uh, because I was a total rookie when it came to that stuff uh, the year prior. But anyway, it's all fun, cool, interesting, exciting. And uh, yeah, my name is Vosk on the Voscoin YouTube channel, home of the CSO for Voscoin. That's our chief solar officer here. Tails, the cutest, the wiggliest, and that pup I need to go see right now because I miss her. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe. We're chasing a million subscribers and we are far away. I'll see you on the next video.